you today. Now, two of our teammates went down to Bulldog and they met up with a fella who gave him a product from Italy. It's a laser LED XG110. Now, these can be found on the website laserled.it, of course, because it's from Italy. Now, it's an integrated laser and it also has a LED four strobe light into it. Now, it does have a top mount that goes on if you want a front sight also LED'd in. Now, it has a bunch of barrel extensions that go with it. It's kind of cool looking, makes kind of a swordfish look if you've known those MP5 swordfishes. Now, the thing is, I went ahead and put it on this little stubby. Fits perfectly into the rail system. Handguard comes down just right. It does have the three buttons. Bottom button, of course, operates your flashlight. Middle button, your laser. Top button, if you happen to have that red dot front sight on there. Now, it does have an on and off switch on to it. As far as I know, it's on there pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. But now for the true test, let's drop a magazine in, shoot a couple rounds through it, and see how it actually works. And then we'll go into a dark room and see how well the light and laser actually works. Little semi. Little full auto. Little semi again. Clearing the barrel. Now, had no bumps, no bruises, no breaks. BBs went right where they needed to go down range. Held on pretty well. I don't see any cracks or breakage. So as far as I'm concerned, it held up to the wear and tear test. Now let's go see how the light and laser actually work. All right, we found a dark room in the middle of the day. Go imagine that. Now we're going to show you how it works. First off, you hit that top button, it turns on. Now there's a little red dot that comes on and lets you know it is on. Like I said, you talk to that bottom button and bam, there's those LEDs shining at you bright, right out of the front of your gun. So there's nothing on the side to worry about. Let it go. Then you hit that little red laser. There she is, bright and shiny. Pretty bright as a matter of fact. I mean, I can see it glowing about 20 feet away still. Now I'm going to come over here by the camera. And we're going to go the opposite direction so you can see what it would look like looking away from it. There it is. Bright light, as I said. And then, of course, that all red light. I mean, that little laser shines brighter than a beacon in the middle of the night, folks. Now, it took me about two minutes, but I put, went ahead and put my uh, other compensator on here. And the reason was I wanted to get down and show you a little bit up close and personal on this. Now, like I said, it's got four individual Allen wrench bolts that tighten down to the barrels. Now, there'll be a picture in there that'll show you the different barrel extensions, but we've already put one here on a PDR, and the reason was because this is what Carl's going to run it on, and as you can see, it fits in flush. Looks pretty nice. Looks a little weird to me, but hey, that's what he wants to run. That's all about him. Now, this whole thing worked out pretty well. Like I said, the four LEDs lit up really nicely in the dark room. The red light, boy, it shined pretty bright. It's got some extra rail space up top and on the bottom. Why you need that, I guess, for a tactical bayonet, tactical tutu, tactical beef jerky. I don't know what you're going to put on it, but it's there if you need it. Now, don't forget, go check them out. LaserLED.it. They do have these also in a tan, and they're supposed to be coming out with a couple different ones later on. But this is Little Reaper with a review, and as always, I'll see you on the field. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Facebook, Texas Reapers. Instagram, Texas underscore Reapers and YouTube, The Texas Reapers.